Hey. So last year I did a video on buying wood, what you should be looking for, where you should be buying it from, and specifically where you should not be buying it from. This is not where you want to buy wood. But after doing that video, we got so many comments from people saying, that's great, I would love to not have to buy my wood from but that's all that's available. And then on top of that, we got a ton of questions from people saying, well, what about buying wood online? Is there a good source where you can just order wood and have it shipped directly to your door? And I gotta tell you, when I heard this, I thought it was the most ridiculous thing I'd ever heard. How could it be financially viable to order wood online and have it delivered to your door? Is that even a thing? So that's what this video is all about. Is there a good source online to order hardwood, have it delivered to your door? So this is what we did. A little experiment. We did a Google search, just like any Joe Schmo out there would do, to try and find places to buy wood online. We found five pretty good sources that we could order hardwood from, so we placed some orders. Now from each source, we ordered roughly the same quantity of wood. Now I say roughly because some sources only offered certain lengths, sizes, widths, so we tried to get the same amount of board feet in the same species from each of the five locations. But here's the catch. We're not gonna tell you where we ordered it from, yet. We've devised a little test. We split it up into six main categories. Shipping times. Let's say I need wood next week. Is there even an option to order wood online and get it here that quickly? Cost. I mean, how expensive is this gonna be? The moisture of the wood. For that, we got a few different moisture meters. Now, we bought a couple cheap ones on Amazon. This one you just set on top of the wood and you can set it between hardwood and softwood. It'll tell you the moisture. This one has these little prongs. It was broken when it came out of the box. Not gonna use that one. And then we have the Orion from Wagner. Now this is the moisture meter I like to use on a daily basis. And the nice thing about this one is you can actually set it for the specific species that you're using. The aesthetics of the wood. How do the boards look right out of the package? Do they look straight? Are they twisted? Are they warped? Do they have a giant bow to them? Are they the same color? Are these boards that they sent us gonna look good together? The accuracy of the order. Now all these websites allowed us to pick our width and our length and our thickness, but how accurate is what we ordered to what actually shows up in the mail? And the usability of the wood when it arrives. Now what we mean by that is, are the boards ready to use right out of the package? Now from all the companies, we ordered them as milled as we could possibly get them. So that means they're either coming S4S, which is surfaced on four sides, or if they didn't have that option, we at least got S3S. But that should mean that they come with a perfectly straight line on at least one side. We're gonna rank each one of these five sources based on those six categories, and we're gonna give them a score. And at the end of this video, we're gonna tell you what company scored the best, and in our opinion, if you're gonna order wood online, where you should be doing it from. Now you might be saying, well, how are we gonna keep all of these different companies separate? Well, we're gonna color code each one. We've assigned a random color to each company so that we can keep it straight, and we're gonna show you which color is ranking best as we go through this video. So, without any further ado, Let's go buy some wood. So after pulling out my credit card and going online, the wood started to pour in. The first box to show up was our red box. It only took six days to get here. Then the green box, that took eight days to show up at the shop door, followed by our orange box at 12 days, nearly two weeks. After that was our blue box. This one took 16 days. And then coming in dead last was our silver box at 19 days from the day that we ordered it to the day that it was delivered. Now, I know that this video is about buying wood online, but in any good experiment, you should have a control. So we came down to our local wood buying source. This is the Hardwood Center. If you're local to the Willamette Valley, this is on Highway 34 between Corvallis and Albany. This is personally where I get all of my wood. So we thought we'd come put it to the test and just, you know, see what the moisture is here. Take a look at the boards. There's 6.9, which is right where you want to be. Somewhere between 6 and 8% is perfect. Just double check it with this other one, 7.1. So we've still seen a little bit of variation there. We got 5.5, 7.3. So everything seems to be right in the area that you want it to work with. So now that we have our control and we know that the moisture is relatively in that level that we want, 
we're going to go through all of the other samples and see how they compare to what you can get locally. Now to be as accurate as possible, we tried to test the moistures the second we got them delivered right off of the truck. 7.4, 5.8, 8.1, It was kind of like Christmas. Each day a box would show up, I gotta open it up, pull out all the wood, and test those moistures. I gotta tell ya, part of me was rooting for one of these orders just to be really bad. Like moisture up in the high teens or 20s. But lucky for the various companies, none of them were too bad. Although we did find a 13.9. In case you're keeping tabs, that was from our green box. One day I was out of the shop when a box showed up. Thankfully Craig stepped in to take the moisture readings before it sat in my shop and had time to acclimate. The orange box was right where it needed to be at 7%. Okay. All right, this one just showed up. We taped off the brand name so you can't see. We're gonna open this thing up and we're gonna get a moisture reading fresh off of the truck. Right out of the truck, Wagner says 9%. And the cheaper one from Amazon, 6.5. We started ordering wood almost 20 days ago, and this is the last one to arrive. Smells like oak. 9.6, 7.5, 7.7, 6 6.4, 7.9, 6.1. .9, All of these boards are beautiful. Let's see how they look. Now that all of our orders have finally arrived, we can start comparing them to one another as far as did we get what we ordered and how do they look aesthetically. So we're gonna do that with the last one that showed up, but the first one to get judged on appearance. Now right out of the box, these look very, very nice. Now we ordered the longest length that we could order, which was 48 inches. I'm gonna do a little test here, slightly over what we ordered. And then we ordered five and a half inches wide, right at five and five eighths, which I appreciate. They give you a little bit of tolerance in case you need to, you know, get an exact size. And these are right at 13 sixteenths, and they seem very uniform all the way down. The other thing I noticed right off the bat is these are so smooth. It's not like they were sent through a planer. It seems like they were sent through a planer and then a drum sander. But let's lay them all out here and see how they look together. Now on this particular website, you have to order by lengths, not board feet. But we did the math to figure out how much board foot we got and it was right at 9.17. So we're gonna do a quick little calculation here. We ordered 9.17 board feet, we got 9.5 on the dot. So just over, which is always nice. And the thing I notice immediately is how nice these joints come together. We ordered S4S and this is definitely S4S. I mean, I could glue those up right now and get really even seams all the way across. They're all the same thickness. I don't feel one that's you know wider or thicker than the others. All in all, for aesthetics and what we ordered, it's pretty accurate. Okay, this was our second to last order to arrive. Now, at this particular supplier, you could order by the board feet, and we ordered exactly 10 board feet. Now, you could also order by the length, and we ordered seven footers. And then as far as width goes, it gives you a tolerance, five to six inches on tolerance. Looking at them right out of the box, I see some immediate issues. First of all, this one has a pretty severe bow in it. I can see that right away. This one, boy, this has got a lot going on. We got this giant sap line. You can see that it's got so many bug holes throughout this entire thing. Now, if I was making a really rustic piece of furniture and I wanted that, it'd be one thing, but I'd expect all the pieces to match. We ordered S3S on these and we actually had them straight line one side, but it should be surfaced on the two flat sides pretty well. I'm seeing a big planar mark right there on this board. If you flip this one over, it's not even planed all the way, which means this entire corner 
I'm gonna lose thickness on that because that's thinner than everywhere else. Let's flip this one over. This is the best board in the bunch as far as how it looks. But my question is, I have two straight edges here. If you push those up against each other, you can see a huge gap down the middle, which means that those are just not jointed very well. So I'm gonna have to do extra work on top of this to mill these and get them to a point that I wanna work with them. Not only that, I'm probably gonna end up cutting all of this sapwood out, so I'm gonna lose a lot of wood. But all that being said, let's do a quick measurement and see if we even got the amount of wood that we ordered. We ordered seven footers. This is 73 inches. We ordered exactly 10 board feet and we got 11.9. Now, before you're like, what the heck, that's more than you ordered, but they're shorter. The reason is, remember I said we ordered between five and six inches? If you look at these boards, they're all well over five to six inches, all right? That one's almost eight. This one's over eight. This one's over seven. So we did get wider boards, which is great. And we ended up with more board feet than we ordered. But the fact that we didn't get the lengths that we wanted, that's a huge deal. Because most of the time you order the length based on what you're building. And if it's 11 inches shorter than what you order, well, that's a problem. All in all, this one's getting a pretty low score in the ranking. Hmm. Nope. Oh. Hey, I want to give a big thanks to the sponsor of our video, PDS Debt. Now there was a time in my life where I was living paycheck to paycheck, and believe it or not, I was in debt. And one of the best days of my life is when I finally got all that debt paid off and I could finally start to live my life again. If you're somebody that struggles with debt, PDS is here to help. They got customized programs for anybody struggling with credit card debt, personal loans, medical bills, collections. If you're paying debt every month and you're not seeing those balances go down, well, this program is for you. Here's how it works. If you got a debt in a lot of different places and you're paying bills here and paying bills there, PDS comes in and they help consolidate that debt into one low monthly payment. Now you might be asking, how do I know if I'm qualified for this? Well, everybody with $10,000 or more in eligible debt qualifies, and there's no minimum requirement for credit score. You can have good credit, bad credit, fair credit, and they're still gonna work with you. They can help you save thousands in interest and fees and pay off your debt in a fraction of time. If you don't believe me, go check it out for yourself. They're a top rated business on Google. They have an A plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and most of their reviews mention their employees by name because they actually care about helping you get out of debt. Right now, PDS Debt is offering a free debt analysis and it only takes about 30 seconds to fill out. So all you gotta do is click the link right down there or go to pdsdebt.com slash woodworking and Check it out. Believe me, this is not something you want to wait around and try later. This is something you want to take care of right now. There's no coffee in this. All right, this is our orange box. This is another one that we were able to order longer lengths. You could order up to seven feet. We ordered four quarter, but it says on their website that the average for four quarter is three quarter. I don't love that. 13 sixteenths is more accurate in my opinion because it gives you a little bit of extra. So if you have to mill it down, you can get down to three quarter. This is right at three quarter, which means that if we're gonna mill this at all, we're gonna wind up below three quarter, which isn't ideal. Right away, I'm seeing some issues. These are all a little bowed, except for this one, but if we flip it over, it's got a slight bow to it. This one, however, if you look, there's a huge gap over here and a huge gap over here, which means that we're gonna have to cut out a lot of material to get this to a square board. If I flip these around, straight line to straight line, we'll test that. That's actually not a terrible joint for the length of the board. There's a little bit of a gap in the middle here, but for the most part, like you could join those two boards together. You'd have no problem running them through a table saw. Now from an aesthetics point, we got a giant knot here, which I don't love. This board is very, very light, where this board is very red. Pretty similar cathedral grain, which that matches, but the color difference between that board and these two this has a giant chunk on the straight line to cut. I would not pick that board if I was picking the wood out myself. All that aside, 
let's test and see if we got what we ordered. Now we ordered seven foot lengths. We ordered right at 9.52 board feet. If you consider three quarter to be four quarter, which is what we had to order on the website, we got 11.38 board feet. So we did get quite a bit more board feet than we ordered, but you're gonna have to cut a lot of this out to even make it workable, it's bowed, it's different colors. Not thrilled with it. I'd rather go pick out my own wood in the store. This is our green box. Now this is another site that we were able to order up to seven footers. I even think you could get them longer on this website if you wanted. And we were able to order S4S, which means they should be surfaced on all four sides, which I can tell you right away that they are. These ones, they just look nicer right out of the box. Those seams are fairly good. There's a little unevenness to the boards, but nothing like those last couple that we looked at. I will say these seams are not quite as nice being S4S as some of the other ones, but they're close enough. You may be able to just take a light pass off with the table saw and get them to where you want them to be. I did notice, however, flipping this one over, there is a missed spot down here that the planer left that's a little bit lower. So you'd have to cut that out or plane the whole board down. But all in all, for being S4S, they look fairly good, so that's nice. Now, let's see if we actually got what we ordered as far as board feet. Now, we ordered 9.62 board feet. Let's do the math real quick. We got 9.92 board feet, so just over what we ordered, so there's a little bit of wiggle room. All in all, we got what we ordered, and we could build something out of this. Next. All right, this is our last box of wood. This is actually the first one to show up. This came just six days after we ordered it, so that's a huge plus right there. Now, this is another site where you could only get up to 48 inches. So you are limited in your lengths from this particular supplier. You are, however, able to order S4S, which is nice because it should be surfaced on all four sides, which I can tell right away it is. Now, for the most part, these look pretty good as far as whether or not they're warped. A couple of these have a little spring to them. Flip that over. I'm seeing some huge variations in color on this one. These three boards right here, if I had to just guess, they look like red oak. Now one way to really tell is on the end, red oak has a way more open pour than white oak. So this one I'm pretty sure is white. This one is red. It's just hard to tell, but I would say this is red oak. Almost 100% guarantee which means that what we have to do to take our measurements on what we got, unfortunately, is remove those three boards. We got exactly 10 board feet from this particular company, 48 inch lengths, 15. We got exactly half, which makes sense, five board feet on the dot of what we ordered. Now, I would imagine that with this company, if you contacted them and said, hey, you sent me half red oak, half white oak, I would assume they would send you the correct wood. So let's try and put that aside for a second and just look at the quality of the wood. And just looking for aesthetics. Well, these three red oak boards go together very nicely. And for the most part, the seams come together great. I can tell I wouldn't have to do any work on the joiner to get those to hook together. They're definitely planed and it feels like sanded or they have really sharp planer blades. So they're nice and smooth. There's no checking or marks as far as that goes. I did notice on this one board, we do have a crack in it. So that's unfortunate. So we'd have to cut that part out. So that's not great, but just looking at these boards, the seams look really nice. Um, color variation is something to look at. This has got a really light spot to really dark. This one's more neutral. This one's more cathedral grained. I wouldn't pick out these boards to go together, but as far as the quality of the wood, it looks pretty good. But it is pretty disappointing to get half of the wrong species. So that's definitely gonna be some negative marks. It did ship pretty fast though. And now the moment you've been waiting for. I gotta tell you, this is pretty interesting. 
Now, we have ranked each one of these wood sources and we've given them a score. And the way we came up with a score is there's basically six different companies that we used for this experiment if you count our local wood source, the Hardwood Center. And there's six different categories. We got shipping, we got moisture, we got accuracy of order, we've got aesthetics, we've got cost, and we've got usability. Meaning, are you able to use the wood right out of the box? We're gonna rank each one of those categories one through six. Now you want the highest score when it comes to this. So you wanna be ranked number six if your wood is the best. We're gonna give a score for each category, we're gonna add up the scores for the entire thing, and we're gonna tell you which company ranked the best. So, starting with shipping. All right, when it comes to shipping, in last place, getting only one point was our silver batch, right here. It took 19 days for this to arrive. That's nearly three weeks from the day we ordered it for it to show up to our door, which means you gotta wait around a long time to get this wood. After that was this one over here, our blue box. It took 16 days, so just over two weeks for that to show up. After that was the orange box. It took 12 days for that to arrive. After that was the green. That took eight days. And then the one that came super fast was our red box. That only took six days to show up. So that gets a whopping five points, four points, three points, two points, and one point. And we also gave our local wood source six points because, well, you can just go pick it up the same day. So they got the most points. Moisture. When it comes to moisture, well, the worst on the moisture scale was our green box with an average moisture in the box of 9.27%. Now that's not crazy high, but it is a little higher than I like. I like the wood to be between six and eight and that was just outside. Next was our silver box at 8.2%. After that was the blue box at 7.65. That's a great moisture. Uh, after that was our red, which was 7.5. Our winner for our online ordering is the orange box, and that was an average moisture of 7.45%. And then our local source, the average we found there was 7.4. So it was actually a little bit better than everything that showed up in the mail. Now we get to the accuracy of the order was what we ordered actually what showed up in the box. Now coming in at last place was the red box. Cause you remember half of what they sent us wasn't even what we ordered. After the red box, it was the blue box. We didn't even get the length we wanted with what we ordered. The orange box, which is this one right here, this one, was right at three quarters of an inch. Now it did specify on the website that the average is three quarter, but if you're ordering four quarter, you expect to have a little wiggle room to account for your milling process. Uh, coming in at number four was our green box. It was pretty darn close to what we ordered. In fact, it was just over the board feet that we ordered, so really nothing wrong there. And then number five we gave to our silver box because Every single board was perfect. It was just thicker than what we ordered. It was just wider than what we ordered. It was just longer than what we ordered. I mean, everything in this box was great as far as what we were expecting to show up. So that gets five. And then as for accuracy, we gave a six to the Hardwood Center because, well, you're gonna pick out exactly what you want. So of course it's gonna be what you ordered. So that gets a six. Now onto aesthetics. Coming in last place when it comes to aesthetics was the blue box. As far as how the wood looks, this was by far the worst. It looked terrible. I would have been very unhappy if I opened this up and expected to just be ready to use it for a project. So that came in last place. After that has to go to our red box because again, half of the wood wasn't even what we ordered. Well, half of it was red oak and that's ugly old person wood. After them was the orange box. Now this one wasn't terrible. There was a little bit of, you know, bowing on the edges, which didn't look great. We would have to cut that off. But there was that one very, very light board that was completely different looking than the other two. After that was the green box. For the most part, this looked pretty decent. It was consistent color throughout. 
The only reason this didn't come in first is there was just slight variation with the grain pattern. And then coming in first place as far as aesthetics was our silver box. I mean, everything looked really nice. The boards were sanded, smooth to the touch. There was no bowing or warping. The seams were really nice. Um, they were all a consistent color and length and size. So when it came to aesthetic, they nailed it. Pretty good on that silver box. On to usability. Now I've already touched on some of the usability as far as the bowed and the edges and everything. Coming in last place was our orange box. Now this is the one that had, even though we ordered a straight line on it, the straight line just wasn't good. When you put two straight lines together, there was still a big gap in the middle. We were definitely gonna have to run this back over the joiner, so why pay extra for a straight line when we're gonna have to do the work ourselves? Right behind that was the blue box, no surprise there. It was the ugliest wood, and they missed some spots on the planer, so we were gonna have to plane it down even further. It had that strip of bug-eaten wood that we were gonna have to cut out, so before we could even get to using this wood, it still needed a lot of work. Right behind that, well, it was the red box. Again, because you're expecting the right amount of wood for your project, you pull that out and it's gonna be pretty hard to use when half the wood is the wrong species. Following that is our green box. Now, I was, you know, pretty okay with this one. The straight lines seem pretty good for the length of the board. I thought you could get this in clamps without too much struggle. As far as usability goes, the silver box, again, all those seams were perfect. When you pushed them together, you could hardly even tell they were there. You run your hand across the top, there weren't any big bumps or ridges. And then following that, of course, back to the hardwood center. I mean, you're gonna go pick out those boards in person. You're just not gonna beat it as far as being able to use them right away. So that one gets a six. Cost. Now this is a big factor for a lot of people because you can kind of manipulate wood if it's not quite there yet to get it to where you want it and that's just sweat equity. But we only have a certain amount of money so if cost is important to you, listen up. Now coming in first place, we're gonna do first to last on this one because the last one, whoo, it's up there. Coming in first place, no surprise, is our control, our local source at $7.95 a board foot. Now this one's cheaper because you're not paying for shipping, which we did factor into the board foot price. So with our online sources, in first place would be the blue box. It was $12.58 a board foot, but we know it also had some other issues. After the blue box was the red box at $20.39 a board foot but that number gets drastically skewed if you eliminate the red oak that they sent us and you just factor in the white oak. But we're not gonna do that. Give them the benefit of the doubt, $20.39 a board foot. After that, it is the green box at $21.95 a board foot, followed by the orange box at $26.87 a board foot, and hold on to your butts. The silver box came in last place at $35.08 a board foot. Yikes. Now we're gonna add up all these points and give you a overall winner here in just a second based on the points alone. But before we do that, I thought I should probably tell you where the heck this wood even came from. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we just did a Google search trying to find places to buy wood online. And the easiest places that we found were Rockler Woodworking, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwood, The Total Wood Store, Woodworkers Source, and North Castle Hardwoods. Now, are there more places out there to buy wood? Absolutely. But these are the ones that came up first, so that's what we went with. And then, of course, we have our local control, the Hardwood Center. So, now that you know where the wood came from, let's find out who the overall winner is. All right, coming in last place with 15 points, our blue box from Woodworkers Source. Now, this was the cheapest wood by board foot from the ones we ordered online, excluding our local source, the Hardwood Center. However, it took 16 days to show up 
and was about the ugliest wood in all the boxes that we saw. I mean, I would just be very unhappy to receive this wood for a project. If you remember, there was that bug chew in there and light spots and chatter and a whole mess of problems. So I'm sorry, Woodworker Source, you came in last place. Second to last place was our orange box. Now this was the total wood store. It was a little expensive, 2687 a board foot. The moisture honestly wasn't bad. It won the moisture contest from our online sources. It got five points for that. It did take 12 days to ship, so that's almost two weeks. But when it came to the aesthetics, we had some warped boards. There was that one really light board that I probably wouldn't even use. You gotta throw that whole thing out. So all in all, it got second to last. Now, after that, there was a tie between our silver box and our red box. The red box was from Rockler Woodworking and the silver box was from North Castle Hardwoods. Now, they both had a lot of issues. The silver box, for example, it took 19 days to show up. So if you ordered this for a project that you wanna do anytime soon, well, you're gonna be standing around the mailbox waiting a long time. But on the upside, the wood was beautiful. It won almost every category as far as accuracy, aesthetics, usability. The moisture, however, was a little bit on the high side, 8.2, but nothing too scary. The Rockler box, well, we know it had all sorts of problems. The big one being half of it wasn't the right species, which is really surprising because I've worked with Rockler for years. They've been a sponsor of the channel. I can't say enough good things about their tools, their customer service. So that's why I'm pretty confident if you were to contact Rockler and say, hey, half my order was wrong, I don't think they would have any problem shipping you the right material. That doesn't change the fact that you're gonna have to be waiting for it to show up in the mail. The good news is they shipped the fastest. We got this only six days after we placed the order and the wood as far as accuracy and usability scored very high. So that's why they didn't come in too far down. They tied for second place as far as our online orders. Now, first place for the wood that we ordered online based on points, our green box. This is Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. Now, for the most part, these boards looked great. They were S4S, so they were surfaced on all four sides. One of the sides was even sanded, like up to 180, so they feel really nice to the touch. There wasn't any significant problems. There wasn't any crazy bowing or twisting or cupping. The edges looked good. The price, well, it wasn't the most expensive, but it was $21.95 a board foot. But of all the places you could buy online based on our different categories, Baird Brothers Fine Woodworks, Hardwoods, Woodworking, Wood That You Buy Online, whatever the heck you guys are called, you did pretty good. Now, Beard Brothers Fine Hardwoods seem to be the winner as far as the length that you could get, it's S4S, it's sanded, it's nice. So all in all, not a bad option. But the bottom line is you have to make that decision for yourself. Hopefully this was an informative video. Check the links in the video description. We will link every single one of these stores so you can go take a look for yourself. But if you can, find that local wood source, buy local, pick out your own lumber, and build something awesome. Now, what the heck am I gonna do with all this white oak?